Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about my opinions about digital and film photography. These two are also called digital since they were captured by sensors, not by exposing film. So this is the film camera. Sorry, I had to use my Loma camera since I lost my SLR. I misplaced it somewhere, I don't know. So, because it's film camera, you have to load the film. You open the back, and some cameras use 120 film, and some use 35mm film. Or you call it 135. And some use um, more types, like 110 or something. As you can see, my Diana F Plus used 120 film. You can wind it, but you cannot rewind it, unlike 135 film, which is you can wind and also rewind. So you can see, after finish it, you have to uh, take it from the take up spool. So here's the digital ones. They have plenty of cards, but here's the famous one that is SD card and CF cards. And there are also newer ones, but I'm not sure. So here's the advantage and disadvantage of digital and film. I will talk more about it later. All digital cameras and some film cameras use batteries since uh, they have a light sensor, automatic focus, and stuff like that. And some film cameras does not have batteries. They don't need batteries because it uses all manual. In digital, after you take a shot, you can review it instantly. Or if you unsatisfied with the image, you can delete it right after. It. It's easy, right? Unlike film, you have to go to develop it first to see the results. And once exposed, you cannot delete it. It's permanently there. So it's kind of cool since you don't know what the results are after you take the shot. In digital photography, you can choose the ISO. It depends on camera too. If you have high-end cameras, they will have higher ISO, better low light performance and low noise. And also, there is an auto ISO. Film photography, the ISO is film independent. They call it film speed. Some have 100, 200, 800, 1000, and higher. So you can see, this is the slide film. There is also negative film. They use different chemicals. Negative use C41, while slide use E6. If you mix it up, it will call cross processing. You will have um, off colors and stuff like that. It's cool. But developing with E6 costs you more than C41. So you can see, film have expired date. If you shoot with expired film, it will have grainy image exposures, but it costs you less. In digital, there are plenty type of card storage, and they have different size, capacity, and they don't have expired date. But if you damage the, the card, it will lose all of the image and become corrupted. There are also high-end cards. Um, like this, they have fast transfer rate, and some SD card do have Wi-Fi built in, so you can easily transfer files. Also, remember, SD card is more cheaper than Chrome since you can reuse it. And also, don't forget, instant film is different than raw film because it develops by itself. But the same thing is, they both have expired date. You can transfer files easily using computer by digital you can connect it with computer and transfer it and you can edit and review it using the computer it's easier in film if you want to convert it into digital you have to scan it these days digital camera have wi-fi capability 
you can easily share the pictures, the images with your friends seamlessly. So that's it guys, that's my opinion about digital and film photography. They both have advantages. They both are great, cool and nice, I like them both. But for hobby, I use my film, but for serious work, I use digital. That's it guys, thanks for watching, see you in the next video.